Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. So we have to talk about some big changes regarding our cryptocurrency in the game. We used to have Gooby on Binance chain, now we don't have that anymore, we have Purpose. Uh, our cryptocurrency is going to be Purpose on Polygon chain. I don't know why some people were a bit angry at the start, uh, maybe they didn't, didn't understand what is going on. But actually this, this is a good change, this is a good upgrade, uh, you will be earning more money. So the good change is that we went from Binance chain to Polygon, uh, which uh, basically eliminates the gas fees. Uh, I think on, on Binance chain we, when we want to make a transaction it costs about 20 cents or 30 cents. On, on Polygon chain with this amount of uh, money you could make 100 transactions instead of one. And Gooby, Gooby is dead, Gooby is no more. Uh, if you had Gooby before, on your, when the change was happening, if you had Gooby, then that Gooby got changed into the, the same equal, equivalent value of uh, purpose, so you, you didn't lose anything. Actually, Gooby was never supposed to exist, uh, I would say it was uh, a temporary, temporary solution. Um, but uh, a purpose is our main coin, and we're gonna focus on purpose, it's a very good upgrade. Like for example, we had a purpose at 50 cents initially, I think uh, three or four years ago, and now it's already at $10. And maybe if you're watching in the future, maybe it's already uh, more than $10. So uh, it's uh, very slowly and steadily going up. Whereas Gooby, Gooby was, um, never, was never gonna go up. Gooby was always gonna be below $1. Keep in mind that there are two ways to make money through this game. One is through NFTs and the other one is uh, changing crypto into a purpose. Uh, they both have their ups and downsides. So in this video I'm gonna talk about the latter. I'm gonna teach you how to turn crypto into purpose and then the purpose into any coin of your choice so you can cash it out as you wish. So let's do it all together. This is also my first time. I'm gonna do it together with you guys. The first step uh, is to connect, the, your, connect your uh, crypto wallet to the game. You go to blockchain building and you can connect here you can connect here your MetaMask that you already own, the, the MetaMask account that you already own, or you can create a new one in, in a couple minutes in the in this blockchain building. And I'm saying that again, every time I'm saying this, make sure you write down your 12 word passphrase on the paper in on a couple pieces of paper and hide it somewhere so and keep it in a safe place so our next step is to go to best game building because that is the building where we can turn krypton into purpose we have to click on giving works we click gift and uh, here uh, we we see this is the button that we use uh, to turn krypton into purpose it says 1000 krypton equals about one dollar worth of purpose so since purpose is right now ten dollars uh, 2500 krypton should give me about 2.5 0 0.25 yeah 0 0.25 purpose so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do a small amount because i'm just showcasing it uh, i don't really want to i'm just uh, teaching you guys so let's click a uh, gift uh, gift 2500 krypton for charity gift uh, thank you Plus zero, plus zero point two five purpose. Thank you for supporting charity. Okay, let's see if I got it. And yes, my purpose balance, but my purpose balance increased by zero point two five. So I guess it worked. By the way, this price is dynamic. Uh, one thousand krypton is gonna be one dollar worth. So ten thousand krypton is gonna be about ten dollars worth of purpose. So for example, if purpose is gonna be twenty dollars worth, ten thousand krypton is gonna give you zero point five purpose. If purpose price is one hundred dollars then the krypton the 10000 krypton is going to give you only 0 0.1 uh, purpose that's how it works so this way your krypton your 1000 krypton is going to be always worth about $1 of course you can turn your krypton into purpose uh, and sit on purpose or you can turn your or you can use that krypton to export an nft and then your money will depend on the price of purpose but as long as you have krypton krypton is pegged uh, krypton price is pegged to dollar not to, to purpose. So Krypton is always going to be stable. Krypton is always going to give you a one dollar worth of purpose. I, I hope that uh, I hope I explained that well. And our third step is going to be we're going to have to use the Met MetaMask extension. The wallet that we created in the game, the wallet where our purpose is right now, we're we're going to view it through the MetaMask. We're going to interact with it through the MetaMask. And if you don't have MetaMask yet, uh, very simple. Just type on Google, download MetaMask extension and then you will click download you will import the 12 words that i told you uh, to write down and then voila you're logged in now very important we will have to use matic mainnet um, if you don't have this matic mainnet here in the drop down menu you will have to click add network here you will just have to type this information and i'm gonna leave this in the description as always uh, network uh, polygon uh, new rcp url uh, i'm just pasting here uh, from uh, another page, uh, current symbol Matic, 
and uh, the last uh, field is gonna be this. And then you just click save. Uh, here it gives me an error because I already have Meta Ma Matic mainnet. And then you would you just click save. Now we are on uh, Matic AK Polygon mainnet. Now we will have to view, we, we don't have our purpose here. We have uh, the purpose on our wallet, we have, but it's not displayed here, we cannot interact with it. So what, what we're gonna have to do is uh, import tokens. So we'll, we're gonna have to import two tokens. I have the strings here. We're gonna have to import purpose and USDC. So let's uh, begin with purpose. Uh, just paste it in and everything else will fill in automatically and add custom token. Uh, import token and we're gonna do the same for uh, the USDC. I'm gonna leave this these strings in the description of course. Import USDC, add custom token. Um, and that's it. We have uh, our purpose and USDC here. So this is only my test account. I'm gonna I'll go to where my actual purpose is. Uh, you see 0 0.527 purpose here and 0 0.28. So this is uh, co connected. That, that's correct. Also, I think you should actually have some Matic as well from our benevolent developers. They give, uh, they send some Matic for us uh, for the for, to pay for the gas fees. So we don't have to worry about the Matic at all. And our fifth step is gonna be we're, we're gonna have to change that purpose into USDC. Um, with that, to do that, we're gonna use the quick swap exchange. I'm gonna also leave the link in the, in the description, of course. So here on this view, we see that the purpose right now is selling for $9.8, which is almost 10. Then we click uh, trade. We're gonna say, I understand and continue. And we're gonna change. So 0 0.25 purpose is gonna give us uh, 2.42 uh, USDC. Now we could say, I want USDT, for example. I could do that. But I don't recommend doing that because uh, we're gonna we're gonna um, send this USDC to Binance. The problem is that we have we're using the Polygon network, and USDT on Binance does not have the Polygon network. The, you see, it doesn't have the uh, Polygon uh, Matic network. On the other hand, USDC coin uh, has Matic Matic uh, Polygon network. So we're gonna send USDC to Binance, and then on Binance we can change. USDC to USDT. So first let's go to purpose, uh, USDC of course, and then swap. Uh, of course you will have to confirm swap and then confirm all these all this transaction and the, pay for the gas fees. It says 0 0.007 Matic for the gas fees. That's about one cent. So waiting for confirmation. Transaction submitted. Okay, now we wait. Now we wait until we get our USDC. Okay, we're about to, we already got a uh, already got approved like within five seconds I, d I didn't even i didn't even need to cut the video so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our binance if you have the, if you don't have binance i suggest you register register it's a very good website where many many people use it there are many many currencies and many many ways to cash out uh, your cryptocurrency so we're gonna go to usdc and we're gonna choose a matic polygon network and uh, this is our deposit address so we just click copy then we go to our metamask where our USDC uh, resides, we we're gonna click on USDC, we're gonna click send, and we're gonna just paste in this address, like this deposit address. It says here, send only US. Oh, I canceled it. It says send only USDC to this deposit address. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna choosing we're choosing USDC, right? And this uh, ensure the network is Polygon. We are we are on Polygon network, so everything should work. So we click, uh, let's see, how much did we cash out? 2.4, I think, 2.4 USDC. So we click next. Um, here again for the gas fees, we're paying basically nothing for the gas fees. It's gonna confirm on Binance, it usually takes a bit longer, but within five or maximum, maximum 10 minutes, this USDC should transfer from your MetaMask to your Binance. Like give it 10 minutes maximum. Just be a little bit patient. While we are waiting, I suggest uh, you do something like this. You use your USDC, you don't uh, send everything to Binance, just keep one dollar of USDC and then change it to Matic. And one uh, USDC is gonna give you so much Matic, uh, that's gonna be enough for paying for gas fees for many many days. But like the, with this 0 uh, 0 0.65 Matic, this, this is probably enough for like 200 transactions or something. But of course, if Matic price goes up and the uh, Matic uh, gas fees goes up, then uh, of course the, it's gonna be a bit less transactions, but still uh, 200 transactions with uh, $1, uh, that's pretty amazing. So we waited a bit. Uh, I have 3.5 USDC from my last transaction. After this comes in, I should have 5.9 or something. It's, it is 5.9, okay, it arrived finally. 
So now on Binance, we can change this USDT to USDC, I'm sorry, to whatever we want. I think most people will want to change it to, I think most people will want to change it to USDT uh, because USDT, USDT is like the most popular, the most universal. So there are two ways to change USDC into USDT. First way is to go to convert and then say you need you want USDC into USDT. And then uh, you will the problem with convert is that you will need at least 20. You will need at least, you will need at least 20 USDC uh, to begin with. The minimum the minimum amount to convert, to convert is 20. Um, if you don't have 20, it goes also with 10. If you go, if you click trade and USDC to USDT, you will come to this uh, uh, view. Um, don't be intimid intimidated by this. Um, it looks a bit professional, but uh, you only have to click two buttons here. You click here green, uh, the first entry or the second entry on the green, and then you click sell USDC. Uh, here you can decide how much you want to sell, but you say just click here one time and then click sell USDC. I cannot do that right. I cannot do this right now because you see at the top I'm getting an error. Um, total must be greater than 10. So if you have 10 USDC, you can change to 10 USDT on this website. That's what I want to warn you about. Uh, if you want to turn USDC into USDT, you're gonna need to uh, give to charity at least uh, 11,000 krypton or 10,500 krypton so that you can convert USDC to USDT. And now from here on out, I trust you or your, that you know yourself how to use this, how to make this money usable. Uh, like for example, I'm using a Binance card. I could use this USDT for my real life shopping through the Binance card. You can do online shopping that uh, supports uh, cryptocurrencies. You can send this currency to somewhere else when you click withdraw, for example, just say the, uh, just say the correct address. You can, you can also turn this into uh, euros and then click withdraw fiat and then once you convert it usdc into euros then you can uh, send this to a, a debit card or you can do a direct bank transfer so binance has a lot of options and i cannot cover every individual option that you might need so basically binance has a lot a lot of options and i trust that you know yourself what is the best option for you for example i have i have three ways i have three ways to use uh, uh, the the money on binance in real life uh, but anyway, uh, I know this was a lot of uh, like setup. Uh, we, I think we had like six or seven steps uh, for setup, but it's only a one-time thing. Uh, the next time you cash out crypto, you, you turn crypto into purpose and purpose into USDC, and then USDC into USDT, and then use it in like real life. Uh, and it, this whole process will take me about five minutes because I already have the setup, and now you also have the setup. So. Try it again, try it next time, you're gonna be a lot faster. Oh yeah, if there are any, any other comments uh, or any questions, uh, I'm also happy about the positive comments. Uh, leave them in the leave them in the, in the comment uh, section, I'm always happy to read them. I hope this was informative, uh, thank you very much for watching until the end. Uh, check out the description and uh, have a nice day. See you later, goodbye.